Good afternoon, folks. My name is Special Agent Richard Duche with the AFT. Thank you for joining us here with our Pistol Brace Symposium. We're here to answer any and all questions that you have regarding pistol braces. Who has the first question? Me, 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 uh, me. Yes, miss. So how, after almost a decade of common use, can the ATF take something that so many Americans have bought legally, unlawful, without going through the proper legislative process? Well, miss, that's because a pistol brace turns any pistol into a long-range, stable weapon of mass destruction that the average, everyday American citizen neither has the self-control or intelligence needed to be trusted with such advice. Next question. So, the penalty for not filing SBR paperwork is 10 years in federal prison. It seems kind of shady to turn so many lawful Americans into felons over something so arbitrary. Is what you're doing legal? Well, yes, sir, that's a good question. Well. You know, prison is not guaranteed if you comply with what we require. So we are giving you an amnesty period where you can either destroy or turn in your property, or we're giving everybody free registration, I mean, free confiscate, free tax stamps so you can turn your NFA weapon in that way. Next question, please. Yes. So something you told us was legal for so long and we spent our hard earned money on purchasing is now illegal based on your declaration? I thought laws were made by our legislators and not by some bureaucrat. Laws? What am I, a lawyer? Well, I can't tell you about laws, but I can tell you this. I'm just a humble civil servant and I'm following orders. And I can tell you this, the government says so, so you must comply. That's it, no more questions. Don't be a dummy, this is satire. The AFT is not real. However, we do believe that bureaucrats don't make laws. Our legislators do. For all your range they needs, come see us at WeaponWorks LLC.